Hello, everyone. My name is Millie. I am the Membership and Operations Director at the Hermosa Beach Chamber of Commerce. But for the context of Lemonade Day program, I am your City Director, and I am here to tell you all about our Lemonade Day Hermosa Beach program. Um, I assume if you're watching this, you've either registered or are interested in re registering for the Lemonade Day happening April 21st. So you're going to get all the information you need to kind of jumpstart this program. Um, a note that as the Hermosa Beach Chamber of Commerce, you're probably wondering, why would we do this? Why would we do a Lemonade Day program? Um, well, first of all, if you're unaware of what the Chamber is, we are a nonprofit that focuses on supporting and advocating the local business community in Hermosa Beach. Um, no, we are not the city. A lot of people get that mixed up. Um, however, we do work with the city and collaborate on certain events and advocacy issues. All that to say is we started this program um, in an attempt to encourage our young entrepreneurs, right, to be business owners of the future. But also something very beautiful happens when um, our community and our local businesses collaborate. So that's the point of that. Um, very excitingly, this is our second year doing it. And we are sponsored by Skechers and the Los Angeles Chargers. And our partners are Leadership Hermosa Beach and Sky One. So we are lucky to have them. All right, moving on. All right, so what is Lemonade Day? Lemonade Day is a fun experiential program that teaches youth how to start, own, and operate their very own business. In this case, it's a lemonade stand. Um, a note that this is a national program, so multiple cities participate in this. Um, and us as the chamber decided to take this on in Hermosa Beach just last year. Um, signing up for Lemonade Day means participating and agreeing to complete a training program. You get certified with the health department, you get financial lessons from our financial partner, and so much more. Now, if you want to learn about the national program itself, you can go on LemonadeDay.org. But again, I'm here to specifically talk about Lemonade Day Hermosa Beach and what that entails. So let's move on to eligibility requirements. Um, you may have already seen this on our website or when you registered, but in order to be eligible to participate in Lemonade Day, there, you must be a student grades three through eight. Um, you must attend a Hermosa school or live in the Hermosa Beach area. All Lemonade stands will be paired with a business. So no stands will actually be located in the neighborhood. Of course, unless it's the businesses in the neighborhood like Granny's, which we had last year. Um, all that to say, as the Chamber of Commerce, we have relationships with the local businesses. So we will provide you with a list of businesses that are willing to host your lemonade stand and pair you in that way. Um, I've gotten this question a lot, but a lot of folks were wondering if they're able to have multiple um, people in their lemonade stand. The answer is yes. Um, a maximum of three young entrepreneurs are welcome per lemonade stand. In this context, the young entrepreneurs are the people or the students, right? It's grades through three, three through eight. They're actually going through the program itself. Um, and on top of that, you must have at least one mentor per lemonade stand. Now, by default, this mentor usually becomes the parent or the guardian could be your older sibling, could be a trusted adult, but this mentor kind of helps you throughout this process. Um, the mentors do receive a mentor workbook, as well as the young entrepreneurs that receive their young entrepreneur workbook, which I'll talk a little bit more about. But those are the eligibility requirements. Now, remember, if you have any questions, I do welcome you to email me at admin at hbchamber.net, but that's just so you're aware. Moving on. Let's talk about the program timeline. Now, I do want to emphasize that there's some asterisks on here because um, some of this is tentative, right? Um, this is our second year doing the program. We are learning more as we go. And we have big partners this year, like Skechers and the LA Chargers that are looking to activate and do a lot more fun things with our students. So while what you see here is happening, we might have more happening on its way. Um, so there's four phases in the program, starting with number one, the preparation, right? So on March 22nd, the registration closes. Um, and the following week, we will distribute the workbooks, which um, our mentors have and our young entrepreneurs have. Um, moving on, 
phase two is education. Now, this is where you're actually learning how to run your business. So again, tentatively schedule either on March 29th or April 1st. We will have our orientation session via Zoom. Um, I will be sending out more information about that. But if you're unable to make it, that's okay. We will be recording the orientation. Um, we just require that you uh, watch it after the fact. It is mandatory because it has a lot of important information. And the point of this program is to learn. And you'll be learning about um, financial advice from our financial partner. You'll be getting um, food safety tips from the LA County Health Department. And you'll getting some marketing advice from me. Um, moving on. After that, after you do your orientation, you get your materials, begins the business planning. You'll be going through the workbook. You'll be planning out your business. You'll be thinking your lemonade stand name. Um, you'll be working with the business to market it. You'll be coming up with your recipe. It's all very exciting. Um, past the phase two education stage goes to phase three, which is implementation. So the actual lemonade day. Lemonade Day is happening April 21st. Um, this is in conjunction with our spring sidewalk sale that's happening April 20th and 21st. We do sidewalk sales three times a year where businesses have um, stands outside, pop-up vendors, just again, encouraging people to come out and support local businesses. But again, you will also be having the opportunity to pop up your lemonade stand on April 21st. Uh, this is a great way. Last year, we did it in the summer sidewalk sale. Doing this in conjunction means lots of people, lots of customers to your lemonade stands, lots of opportunities to earn money um, from your lemonade, obviously. So it's great. Um, now, lemonade day is typically 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, we've seen, obviously, some lemonade stands run out of lemonade, so they might close before 4. But the starting time is 10 a.m., so just note that. Um, and on that day, you are competing for three things. Number one, the best tasting lemonade. Number two, the best lemonade stand, kind of most creative. And lastly, the best overall, which is the Youth Entrepreneur of the Year. Now, I want to note that for that last competition, you do have to opt in to compete. So everyone's automatically competing for best tasting lemonade and the best lemonade stand. But if you would like to be considered for Youth Entrepreneur of the Year, you do have to let us know. And again, we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, because the person that wins Youth Entrepreneur of the Year um, goes on to submit for the national competition. So the National Youth Entrepreneur of the Year. Um, that national contest uh, is put on by the National Lemonade Day program itself. And I believe the number one winner gets $500. Um, I think an invitation to the White House press. It's really exciting. It's awesome to celebrate our young entrepreneurs. Um, last year, we had three judges judging the best tasting lemonade and the lemonade stand. And that was Mayor Ray Jackson at the time, um, our chamber board member, Marina Boulanger. And lastly, the leadership from our speech president, Dave Fulton. So it's very exciting, very fun time. Then moving on to the last phase, which is phase four, the celebration. So we want to celebrate all your accolades and all the amazing things that you learned and what you managed to accomplish um, throughout this month. Um, so April 28th, you actually submit the business results. Now, again, this is only specific to the Youth Entrepreneur of the Year, if you would like to submit nationally. Um, and this business result is essentially like a survey that you fill out that talks about how much money did you make? Um, what did you learn? Did you give back to charity? How did you market? Just basically, what did you learn throughout this process? Um, on May 14th, all the participants of Lemonade Day get recognized at City Council get a little certificate we do a little ceremony it's a really good time um in june to be determined we don't know the date yet the overall winner of the lemonade day so again the youth entrepreneur of the year um gets recognized at the state of the city uh, we did this last year with last year's winner is very exciting and lastly in august again um date to be determined the national winner um is announced so that's the national program itself um, so hopefully this program timeline, while still tentative, again, we will be emailing you with updates, gives you a good idea of what you'll be doing for the next month and all the celebrations happening afterwards. Um, a note that I said it is tentative, right? We do have um, new sponsors 
in this, including the LA Chargers and the Skechers. And they're looking to really do fun things with our young entrepreneurs. So we might have more fun things planned. So just stay tuned. Moving on. Um, just wanted to show you a little bit about Lemonade Day Hermosa Beach. Last year, 2023, it was the first year we did it. Um, it was a lot, lot smaller. I think we had a total of seven lemonade stands. Um, but so much came out of this. It was beautiful. If you actually look to your, your left right over here, um, Cora Owen, she had one of the lemonade stands. And after the fact, she was so inspired that she uh, collaborated with us to do the kids creations market during her most for the holidays. It was a beautiful market up on um, the green belt and she, she led it. It was amazing. Um, those entrepreneurial skills really kicked in. Um, over here on the left as well, Liam, he actually donated all his uh, profits for the lemonade stand to a, a charity of his choice, which all of you have the opportunity to do as well. And that's something we talk a little bit more about during orientation. Um, and then to the far right, you see the actual winners of the best overall lemonade stand. Ooh, sorry. Um, Sawyer from Pirates Treasure Lemonade. They got recognized um, during the State of the City, and it was awesome. Their lemonade tasted amazing. Um, but, yeah, it was a really fun time, and we're really looking forward to it this year. It's going to be bigger, it's going to be better, it's going to be more organized, and we're really, really excited. Um, and all that to say... If you have any questions, I am your point of contact. Again, in the context of this program, I am your city director. My name is Millie, and you can contact me at admin at hbchamber.net. Um, below is our website, right? So the first website I showed you is for the national program. This website listed here is for Hermosa Beach specifically. So it's hbchamber.net slash lemonade. We'll be posting updates on there along with um, emails. So yeah get excited. Um, thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.